Hello there, morons. Uh, I'm always kind of complaining to myself that I don't have enough time to make videos for you guys and answer your questions. But I just realized I got like a 10 minute walk to the liquor store where I'm gonna meet my wife. That's a liquor store where, well, this is a, this is a, uh, this is a Unicro right now. I think they're closed now though. The lights are off. Look at the, look at the sun, look at the flags up there flapping. Oh, just like the samurai flags used to flap in the old days. But anyway, I always complain that I don't have enough time and uh, I am going to do it now. I'm going to have enough time to just talk to you. So this is what I want to talk about, okay? Uh, I broke the rule of saying what I'm going to talk about. I hate, I hate when people say, this is what I'm talking about. This video is going to be about. But I'm, I'm, I'm doing this live. So just forgive me. Let's go on. On, on, on. Okay, so a good friend of mine uh, last week, not great friend, but good friend. He's a good friend. Yeah, he's a friend. I've met him on a couple occasions in real life. He, he has, he needed some money to, so he needs money to raise, he needs to raise money to pay for college, okay? By the end of May, he's like, he needs like a thousand, two thousand dollars. I mean, he's not sure how to do it. So he started up one of these Indiegogo pages. And I don't know if he took it down because I kind of criticized it. Uh, and it, I gave him very good constructive criticism. I, I'm not sure if he took it down because I criticized it or just because... He was just rethinking the campaign, but my um, my complaint was basically that he was not offering any value for for the requests, right? And a couple of people have done this. There's, there's another page. There's a there's a couple of places now. A few, quite a few places. I'm building something. There's quite a few places now where you can like Indiegogo, like um, like Patreon.com like uh, Kickstarter, there's all these places now where you can go and put up campaigns and get people to donate money to you. And in many cases, you can offer some service in exchange for that. Now, I just got an email just now, which is why I'm making this video. I'm not going to name the guy. I don't know him. Seems like a, it's a very sincere email of my dreams going to go to Japan. And I've, I've seen this email three or four times before, three or four different cases. I've never made a video about this. I think I've commented about it, but, but here's the thing. He, he wants to, he's basically begging for money. Okay. He needs $7,000 so he can go to Japan uh, for the summer, for some summer program. Um, which is, you know, of course, you can't blame him for wanting to go to Japan in the summer. Well, anytime. Summer's kind of sucks, actually. Humid as hell. <laughs> if you're going to come to Japan, come in the spring, come in the fall. End of March, ideal. Uh, late September, August. Of course, depending on what you want to do. If you want to go snowboarding and stuff, and of course, come in uh, January, February. Anyway. So here's the thing, if, you, if you're going to do something like this, you have to offer something of value, okay? The guy that just emailed me a few minutes ago, was I'm, you know, right, the reason I'm triggered to do this, he's offering postcards from Japan. If you donate 20 bucks, he will send you a postcard from Japan, right? Really? A postcard from Japan? That woman was staring at me. What are you doing? Come on, guys. Oh, someone's laundry fell. When this happens, you should pick it up and kind of put it up there and maybe someone will find it. Anyway, here's the thing. If you're going to ask for money, regardless of the reason you need it, if you're going to ask and you're going to offer some services in exchange, rack your brains, put a little creativity into it and offer them something of value. Offer them something that you think people will want or would want. Okay. Now, there's a, another site called Patreon.com where people like me who, who have uh, YouTube pages or it's actually created by a YouTuber uh, can, can get people like you to, to kind of uh, sponsor them, like pass the hat around and stuff. Uh, and I've seen people do pages like that too, some of them very successfully, some of them miserably. But the, the funny thing is I, I, you know, I, I, I have a friend who is, who's raising money to make an album, Kat McDowell, and I was looking into options for her. And I noticed that, I'm so, you know, kind of prowling, lurking around on that page. And I noticed that a lot of people put up pages that offer uh, zero to nothing. And it seems to me that they're just putting up pages because they can. Because it's, they're like, okay, this is a way for me to easy, easily make money. So I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to put up, here's a pachinko parlor back there, by the way. I'm just going to put up a page 
and hopefully someone will send me money okay and I will be honest some people will send you money for nothing that does exist out there but it's very rare and you can't just get it because you write an, a, a passionate speech on a blog it's not gonna work that way if you want to come to Japan rack your brains find a way to get here don't just ask for it and if you're gonna beg which is basically what it is in, in software you're gonna beg in exchange for services offer some real services I'm not saying sexual services but that would, that would be the I mean if you really want to I'm sure there's a lot of pervs out there that will take whatever you want I will send you nude photographs of myself if you if you send me enough money so I can go to you know come on I mean um, or I will visit uh, uh, certain places and film things but the but the the the, 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 the typical requests or, or or campaigns offer next to nothing so I don't know what here and here's the question for you guys okay um, I'm not doing one of these Patreon things, uh, at least I'm not considering it at the moment, but I can't imagine what people would want, you know? So just out of curiosity, have you ever donated to any, anyone online, uh, especially in, someone who is offering some kind of services, some kind of service, and what service what it, was it, or why did you do it? Was there a particular service? Was there a particular, um, you know, service that was offered that made you think, hey, I want to give this guy money. Was there something like that? Or um, did you just do it because you had some money and you want to throw it, throw it at somebody, help someone's foot? Have you ever been moved enough by someone's dream to give them money? It seems to me that the few cases I have given money have been because someone has had a heart attack and they needed money for their medicine. Uh, another person was stuck in another country and she needed money to buy a ticket to get home. Things like that. I, when someone has been in trouble, I've uh, I've donated money. I I don't think I've ever. Do oh no, there is there's one case. Uh, Kat McDowell. I donated money to her campaign because she wants to uh, she wants to record her own album, and for that you need you need a lot of money. You need like you know, fifteen thousand dollars. So I can understand that, and I believe in her, and I believe in her art. And oh yes, I know. I'm I'm sorry. I have I have donated money to people who to support their art. I bought. I wouldn't say even, I wouldn't even say donate. I bought their books. I've supported them by buying their books. Yes. So I can see that. I can totally see myself, you know, I, can, I, I mean, I, I can, what is it called, rationalize, I suppose, giving money to people if I, if I feel like I'm supporting a worthy cause. But my dream is to come to Japan. No, I don't see it. So let me know, let me know what you guys think. And not just uh yeah i especially want to know if you have any good ideas uh, that people who want to come to japan what could they offer that would make their campaigns better okay of course i'm already in japan so this is worthless to me but there might be a lot of people out there who would like to come to japan and they're looking for good ideas and if you're feeling generous then let me know or if you don't want me if you don't want to leave it in the comments but you just have a good idea and you don't want me to tell anybody but you just want to tell me then you can email me uh privately because i'm really curious i'm curious about good ideas like that and i promise uh i won't tell anybody else about it okay <laughs> but i'm just really i'm really curious right anyway that's it for now thanks for watching guys and i'm i'm nearing the liquor store so i will show you the liquor store there it is see that's the liquor store i always go to my wife apparently is waiting there so maybe we can run yeah run and see if she's there, if she beat me there, did she get there? This is the this is the the uh, the Dohan Baiki, the hunky. You can buy beer. Look at this tremendous sake. Ah, oh, she's not here yet. Konbanwa. Ah, konbanwa. Sashiburi. Genki desu ka? Genki desu.